Alright, welcome back to a new video. You see, um, today this video is um uh, teaching you guys part of Serato um in practice mode. You get to me I say so I show no practice mode. The reason why I never show no practice mode because I go connect my board after I don't show no practice mode. I go connect me control board and make it show me the jack wheels and stuff in this video. So, so right now let's go over to the computer. And again, I go use the built-in mic on the Mac to actually talk because you can record internal sounds but you can record external sounds and the audio is not the best i'm going to make another from now so please be aware of this video i wonder if this start record it must start record man all right so this is serato in practice mode is it practice mode itself so let me go into just here so so this is when the found a weapon Oh no, Serato, this is how it's going to look. Get me I say? If you have the two sides playing, you have to click two decks. So now you can use crossfader to mix in between two different songs. This is your left deck. Over here is your right deck. Get what I'm saying? So when, the, when I connect the controller, you're going to see a jug wheel on both sides. And this area is the only part that is going to remain the same. Everything else, this will be removed. Crossfader will not be here. There will be no volume on the meter. That's what I'm saying. This will remain the same, but not in this position. You will see where it moved to. That's what I'm saying. So these are hot cues. I don't have any trucks loaded now. See, I don't have any tracks loaded now, so let me load two tracks to let you guys see something. So, this is deck one load, this is Q point. You can name your Q points. Um, this track is from Serato. Um, you need to download Serato DJ in um, not intro. I'm used to Serato intro because Serato DJ light is what was known as serato intro back in my time when i well if you say my time to bomba like me that whole um it's like when i just started djing officially when i take up djing officially it was intro we have to use with entry level controllers instead of light okay all right so this is no, I there is something need to be changed. Let me change it. Um, this nothing on. So this is how it sits. Um, this is all the loops. You go over more, you get more loop control. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm mixing, I do not use this amount of loops. I'm going to use the top row for loops. So I go into settings and I turn and show beat jump. I use beat jump okay so b jump operates like this have the music playing um i press space key to have the music playing so b jump works like this now if i'm at so let me start the music i'm here and i want to go four beats up in the song i jump bam this is four beats yeah, you understand um i might i'm not sure if i'm explaining it right but uh you count bars then bars go to beat if you remember correctly so this is supposed, supposed to one beat loop and sorry i'm tired this is a bar if i remember correctly yeah most likely so Anything you want to know about virtual, you can go to here. Help, not virtual, Serato. You have show tips. Like you hold it over and it show you. So yes, it's beats. Understand? Yes, so. 
that is what it's used for let um, me jump from here is um one beat two beat three four you understand okay so here is what's going to happen i'm going to give you guys i'm just showing you guys how things generally stay as in with serato rain is falling now it may be messed up some of the audio let me turn off the help so this is your waveform to show you how far the track has reached it's on the place so let me just connect that and continue to explain because if you use serato dj um then call it extension that is called serato play if you use that you will see it pop up like this and uh, give it a second <coughs> not in this format it will be like this but only difference right below here in between the space here you will see the crossfader high low and mid but i do not have serato play so i can't really show you guys that get what i'm saying so this here is what you use to well i hardly use it but many dj has is for bpm let me close this one over here so um when you look here so this means that the bpms are in uh, much perfectly as you can see this is bpm bpm is also called beats per minute so let me just explain that much so if i should move the tempo fader and the controller the bpm will change and there is a shortcut on the keyboard that goes like shortcut where is it again i'm going to let you guys know tempo adjust down up down these are for both decks so the that is not the thing that is this let's see what's going on oh i see what happened um i read the wrong one that is not uh, let me go back show keyboard shortcuts yeah that is that is not what i wanted that is not what i actually wanted so wait wasn't that actually a shortcut shown hmm all right so it's see it here this is for left deck so it's r and e r and e for the left deck and it's d and f for the right deck on the keyboard you can also use this as in many DJs do not know how to change their um, tempo range some controllers you can't change it like for instance the mix track quad that control you cannot change the tempo range so in that case say you're mixing and you went to like I'm gonna go straight down to there. So it say basically stuck at eight. This is your full tempo range being used, and you the BPM over here was like. Let me just show you an example. Say your BPM was right here. You can go any more on the tempo fader on your controller. So what you could do is use the shortcut on the keyboard to adjust beyond. You understand that? Yes, you can use that. There's an extra trick that I used to use. Instead of doing it that way, you can also just um you can also like what I used to do before I learned this shortcut is when this song is here, you and you mix it and it's matched out way at the eight, you bring this track back to negative. Um, the negative eight, like let me put it here now. Um, and the control, you would bring it. I'm going to show you guys, like, in the next video, 
when I'm using the board, explaining the parts of the board, I would bring it to here, and then I would press sync. When I press sync now, I would um, adjust the temper slider straight back to, and it bring me beyond the eight. That was a trick that I used. You see, I used to use that trick. But I'm trying to break myself out of the habit of using sync. Reason being, I'm trying to go through something there. So I'm trying to use turntables. I, mean, I always wanted to learn how to do it. I realized that you're not going to be able to use sync on turntables. Unless you're just using straight serrat. But I want to learn to use actual vinyl and play. So I have to mix with those sync. And I can do it. But I never get the instrument before to actually do it. I never me I, I I touched vinyl before when it was spinning, but never actually use it. Like use do a full mix. Okay, so different and and different from the way from in here. So this can use for two things. You can use this. We say the track is beat match perfectly in here. So. But here's a little gem where many DJs don't know. Say you have downloaded two songs, like one song, like a song. Say for instance, you download uh which song we can use? Popular by Popular Remix by Skilly Bang. You have, you can come to bomb. Say I download it twice, you know, but from two different sources. The two of them give you the same beat rate, but when you are listening to them. You, see, you hear the difference like one is as a better quality you know which one of the better quality you can use here um in Siri like in my mind at this moment I believe that when you see more of these in there it means they have more frequency means it's the better quality when you see less that means it have less frequency mean poor quality um I really and truly wanted to find out method and I'm still searching like because I can get a song now ripped from YouTube but you run it through a DAW like Reaper or other city and change the bit rate of it from 128 to 320 and when you put it against the original tweet um 320 you will hear the difference but you won't, um, your ears sometimes will trick you. And I realized that because when I, when I put them in virtual, not virtual, Serato, I should say, the waveforms are small and the one that I thought was the original and it sounds kind of better quality. But when I put it over there, this is how the waveform look like fat. And you guys, more you guys go in depth into mixing, you guys will learn this. I understand yeah so this is for ejecting the songs you use shift alt and left um left arrow on the keyboard and shift alt and right arrow for unload and the right only unload if you want to use the keyboard and load that is shift and right arrow shift and left arrow for the left side Unload, bam, and load again. That is shift, alt, and the arrows for each deck. Okay, what else I need? This is the trim. You can, this won't move. And I I wanted to speak on this. Many DJs think say when you're using the trim bump key on your controller, this move. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't move none at all. Even when you're using your master one and the controller, this one doesn't move. And I see many DJ has their one fully buck, but I don't buck mine. I keep mine up here, so. Many sound man say, yo, turn up, turn up, turn up. No, me not, me not do that because when they didn't know about Serata, I'm going to teach you guys this. It's when you max this and say this is up like further out and it's a green light, a red light, I should say. Like for instance, I'm playing this song. Um, this is how we meet a stay. This is good reading. But say for instance, it was doing like this. You're seeing the red, red dot right here. This is what's going to happen now. 
Alright, so guys, that if I crank this up any further and the, and the speakers in the event, you will be hearing something close to this. You see what that is? Alright, so you realize when I was playing the second time, it didn't move like it was just full bore. If you should have that on a sound system, a man, um, like, not even say monitor box, I'm talking like. Yeah, monitor box are one. But I'm not talking you could small monitor box we use in our rooms. I'm talking about the one that we use at corporate events. You will be hearing how that sound. It will be fully distorted. I see DJs have this buck. Uh, up here so buck. No, this is like you're doing a distorted mix and it's going to Serato itself is going to be compressing and docking the audio. This is not good. Keep it here you can bring it here depends on how you mix but i prefer here this one now let me explain how this goes this if you're using this feature out again you don't really need to is somebody calling my phone no you don't really need, um to touch here so in out again because what i realize and out again resets it change varies on the song you're playing. I'm being honest with you guys. That's why I don't use art again. For DJs, I'm gonna say this straight. Cause people bash on I am one of these DJs. Cause I used to do it. When you rip a song from YouTube, do not use art again. Cause when you go on the big song them, me attack a song like Stone Love, BSDC, hyperactive song. You're going to that music that you rip from YouTube is going to sound so low. Many of you guys complain because I hear sound owners click out pan owner. Is it and DJs who are members of sound click out pan owner say yo when I come a party we're gonna rip all the song them and I say the man in turn down sound pan owner when them did a play he never turned down. Many of those DJs and the sound has get the music from studio. I am one of those DJs who get most of my music from studio. What I don't get from studio, I don't load. That no means I'm rip them. They are record, pose like BPM, DJ City, many more. We can get some high quality sound. I do not use those um, um places because I can't afford it. So what I do, I went on the internet and I find places that give me dance sounds for free. You have Dance Star, you have Rhythm World. Rhythm World is a good source for Rhythm. But you're not going to get certain all Rhythms on that website like you will find it. But when you go to download, the link will be expired. Because they downloaded it, uploaded it on Zipshare, Forshare, and those those two websites are no longer available. But if you click on a link and it says Mega, you hit the jackpot. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just giving you guys that as an info. You can get the music from there. So, if you don't have an audio in high quality and you're ripping it from YouTube, do not use art again. Always list the area, play it, and read the meter. For instance, no, let me do no, that. Um, that happened because I pressed the space key while my board is connecting. So, you're going to library mode. You will know which mode it is by up here you have library vertical horizontal extended i use extended but mine shrink now because i did me did open effects record and sample at the same time so i shrink this and it doesn't return back to normal until i leave serato and return back yeah so that's why it looks like this um stacks we use stacks many times i use stacks a lot to be honest not live but because when i'm mixing live i use either vertical or extended but i'm mostly using extended now because i get to see more of the waveform um to zoom in on the wave you use the plus and minus key on your mac it's the same keys on your windows okay so then we go, let me sh explain to you guys, let me change this to horizontal. So, I'm going to have the track playing. So this is a track turn 
fully down low um let me just remove that we're going to use here so so when this song is turning this low down you can do this say you get your song from off of youtube when you play it it's around here you you lock off out again and you measure and you turn it up read the meter you understand this is good level but many of us like me myself i'm telling you true i redline it but so when i redline it now guys i watch over here so after i put this here so you know, when this is here that is the time i do i place this where it doesn't give me the red dot because when i play answer on the sounds their equalizer is turned on the high is little bit past well after one day so is it the mid is the same and the low is at 12 o'clock you get what i'm saying yes that's how so they merely set it so when i do this and i'm playing on those um speakers um those control boards I will get the red dot. The red dot is going to I can't prevent it unless I say no I'm a crap about this. But so when I do that now I'm turn this down too much, it makes them have to turn up their control board more or turn up the sound more. But not sure I know that our DJs out there doesn't know this stuff and then just like use the software, they don't know nothing about audio balance. I make it up on myself too. Play in a comfort zone where the sound man nafia turn up and turn down. Means that after me don't play, my forgot turn down the sound fee. Fit that the man day. Because enough of these DJs are miserable, bro. You see, if a man I just wanna fix something on the sound, a big argument. You see that man a lot. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's it about Serato. This is how it's set up when you control a board and how it's going to look. Um I'm going to link Chapo. I ask him to take a screenshot of his Mac like like this when he has the Serato play turn on with the two decks. In that you're going to see that over here have a pitch fader and that is known as a tempo fader. Tempo and uh, over here so it's going to have one as well. Yeah. So I will See if I can get a screenshot. If I don't, you guys can just Google it. Serato Play, and you will see how it looks. Serato Play, if you use Serato, not Serato Virtual, and you use a Serato skin on it, seem like how the skin looks with Serato Play. Um, When they show the EQ on the skin, that is how it sits on Serato, to be honest. Yeah, so I want to say thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate um, everybody will take time out a week time to actually watch my videos. DJs, uh, evil people are not DJs or are not interested in me. Glad to actually watch it. Um, I want to prove my family, well not all of them, but the per ones that says that what I do is a waste of time, says this is not a waste of time. And I only can do that with your guys' help. Like, you guys can help. I'm going to talk about this in our next video. I ask you for to help. Share the videos. Get as much subscribers as you can. Let's see if before my birthday in next year. Because I born on January 21st. We can reach 1k subscribers and even more. If we go more and I am eligible for payment monetization from YouTube. I want to give back. Because I wanted to do it on my main channel. I put mixtapes on. But that channel cannot be monetized. So I want to do it over here. I want to give back to everyone. To be honest. And when I say everyone, I'm talking about DJs. Even if you're not a DJ, I want to actually give you like even some cash and say, This is for supporting me. Buy your evil something where me see a post by your IG so you want. Just look out for sure so yo, my DJ, I may appreciate on you. Get to me and say. Even if me see on a post say or somebody want help, me can help out the person long as the cash is there. And say, this is from you to the person. I mean, then you say it's because you supported me in our women, in our my dreams and my goals. Let me could actually do this for them. 
get to me and say that is my aim with my YouTube. Because I'm not a selfish person. People say me I get selfish. Yes, people make me turn selfish. How people treat me. But me not selfish to everybody. I'm willing to help people. That is me. Is it? That is me. So thanks again everyone for tuning in to this video. Thanks. Um, I hope this video will be out Tuesday. Because I will post videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That is my goal now. If you post one video each of those days. But I'm going to post other contents too. So I'm going to make my next video right now after this one. Let me see I'm yellow shirt. Yeah. And talk about that. So thanks again everyone. So remember like, share, click the subscribe button. Peace.